Today we got a really easy mod. We're putting in these mud flaps. These are from Paragon Performance. They like just came out not even a week ago and I saw them and I was like, these are gonna look so cool. So we got all four of them here, two for the front and then two for the back. I'm gonna start with the back ones first just because I have taken the mud flaps off the back before when we've installed that wing. So I'm gonna try pop these in. I'm assuming, cause they're all numbered. So it should look pretty easy. Like there's four, two, three, and then this is one. So they're all numbered. So it should be fairly easy to figure out where they go in. Um, they all look kind of like the same thing. So I'm gonna put this back one in first, see how it looks, and then I'll do the rest of them either now, maybe I'll do them a little bit later, just depending on how much time I have. These were only, I think, like 200 bucks. And I think it'll tie everything together because I got carbon flash there, carbon flash there, car just there's carbon flash everywhere. So I'm gonna put this first one on, see how it looks, make sure I got the right one, and then we'll go from there. Okay, and as I do this, I'll kind of give a little tutorial as much as I can. So basically for the back one, I don't know how, see if I can up this, there we go. So for the back one, there are these seven millimeter screws right here, these screws. You're just gonna need to remove this one. This part's actually the mud flap. So you don't really need to remove anything else but this one seven millimeter right here. And then the rest, you just kind of pop it out. So let me show you guys what that looks like. And that, you could remove the wheel if you want, and I think that's what Paragon wants you to do, but I mean, to be honest, you can just, you just gotta pop it off. Just takes a little bit of force and it's a little harder with the wheel there, but all you do is pop this off. I'm gonna put the camera down for this, but you just pop those off, and then you'll pop this one right back in, screw it in, and you're done. For you guys that have done stuff on your car or worked on cars like for a living, you probably know that it's like, even if something is easy in theory, it's always way harder when you're actually trying to do it. So, here's this install. Look how cool that looks. Oh, that's awesome. Now I need the wheel spacers. That looks good. Basically, when you're putting this thing in, it's just like we said with the tabs, and you can see it's pretty flush right there. It just takes a lot of muscle. This was for the back one. You just have to you really got to maneuver it. But you can see it's, I mean, it's in there good. It's not going anywhere. And that looks pretty solid. The only thing is it kind of rubs up on it right here. I don't know if that's normal. See like that fender kind of hitting it. Maybe it's fine. I think it's okay. You really have to put a lot of muscle into this. Let's see. That's pretty clean. We've got the two on over on that side. The front is definitely easier than the back, but just to show, we just pop this one off. And then you just gotta make sure this tab pops in here. I'll probably get a closer up shot at some point. I kinda already showed them. And then, all these will slide in. Right like this. And these tabs will pop in. The interesting thing is that the front ones are way easier. Here you go. The front ones are way easier than the back because the back you're pushing it into this plastic. In the front you're pushing it into like metal so it just pops in way easier. So all right. The mud flaps are all installed. I'm gonna pull it out into the sun in just a second to give you guys a look. But you can see in the front, so they look like the back, you can't, I can kind of see. Front looks definitely nice when you're up close. The front ones are way easier to install than the back ones. So when you guys are installing this, if you guys get these, if you want like a reward, do the back first and then the front because then the front will be a breeze even more than it already is. But if you just want to do a little warm up, I guess, then do the do the front first. It's pretty easy to pop all this stuff off and I think it actually really brings the car together. So 
just for let me move all this stuff out of the way that we were using just so you guys know the back of them is carbon flash and that just like like that pulls it together so well because the diffusers carbon flash the wing and now that so let's pull it out in the sun and see what it looks like there probably get some better things there now the idea is I could get some wheel spacers put those on it'll pop it out I know these pop it out by nearly two inches I think it's a 1.75 inches that it pops it out so I don't know how much the wheel spacers make a difference but if I wanted a little bit wider tires it would make it look better right because the mud flaps kind of hug it a little bit so let's pull it out into the sunlight out there and see what this looks like when you can kind of see it a little bit more all right we got everything all done out here in the sunshine here's what the front one looks like so it adds a good nearly two inches and I think it works so well because with this splitter being carbon flash and then here's the back one looks good and here's this side I think this is something that really just sets it apart it just ties everything together I think so that is everything I got for this video short and sweet but it was a mod that right when I saw it came out I thought it would do a really good job of pulling everything together and I think it did I think it just makes everything look that much more aggressive and that much more like cohesive so if you guys enjoyed this one make sure to like and subscribe let me know what mods I should be doing next um, I got a lot of other ideas whether I should do some more performance mods in the engine should I twin turbo it should I not um, I don't know I've been thinking of a lot of different things to do there's probably some interior stuff I could do as well but I think for the exterior it's starting to really come together with all these little things I'm adding so I'll see you guys in the next video